Once started, stellar raiders run in a steady state on their own, and they don't have magnetic disturbances that can bend metal like they do in tokamaks. Unfortunately, they are so hard to build that they may be even more likely than other fusion projects to go over budget and be late. Thomas Klinger, who is in charge of the German effort, says that no one knew what it would take to build one. Bogie 7X could be a big change. The machine is located at a branch of the Max Planck Institute for Plasma Physics IPP, that Klinger runs. It will start up in November after getting approval from the government. It is the first large-scale example of a new type of Stellarator that was made with the help of a supercomputer and has had most of its problems with containment worked out. If W7X performs as well as or better than a tokamak of the same size, fusion researchers may have to rethink where their field is going. People from Tokamak are waiting to see what will happen.